Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to HIP.io. Today's video is how to install and configure Radar. Uh, radar is essentially a alternative to Couch Potato. And if you guys aren't familiar with Couch Potato, that means absolutely nothing to you then. So what this is and what Couch Potato is, is it's, a, it's programs that you tell what movies you want and it will go out and scour your sources for torrents, news groups. It goes out there, um, downloads it, puts it in the folders you want, renames it, does all that fun stuff. So it puts all the work out of actually having to go out there and do stuff yourself. Normally I don't spend too much time going through the installation progress of all the apps I tell you guys to um, install and download and download and install. Um, but today with Radar, it's a bit different just because they're in their pre-release uh, stage of development. The app isn't fully there yet, so there isn't really any executables for you to actually just click next through. I'm gonna instruct you on how to do that right now. We're gonna go up to download. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using obviously Windows. So let's click download here. And it'll take you to the GitHub page here. Just scroll down and you'll look here for the windows.zip package here. So this obviously right now is the latest version. By the time you see this video, it could be a different version. So obviously just go to whatever's the latest. Uh, we'll click on it and then we'll choose download. Now that radar has been downloaded, the next step you'll have to do is obviously go to the folder where you downloaded. In my case, it's gonna be on my desktop. It's just over here. I'm just gonna right click it and I'm gonna choose extract all. If you're obviously using Windows, it will have the built-in unzip program, or you can just go out there and download um, 7-zip and it'll do the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna choose extract all and I'll just leave it going to the desktop. Okay, so now that it's been extracted, here's the folder here. You're gonna double click it. You'll see another folder there called radar. You'll look for radar.exe. You'll have to launch this one time. I'm just gonna hit more info and I'll choose run anyway. Okay, now that the radar.exe has been executed, it has launched our web browser starting radar up. But we'll just minimize this for now because we have a couple more steps that we need to do. We're gonna actually browse to see program data radar. And within this folder here, we're gonna make another folder. So right click, choose new and click on folder. And we're gonna call it bin. Now that this folder has been created, we're gonna now go back to where we extracted the files. So that'll be on our desktop here. We'll go back into this radar folder and we're just gonna do a control A, which is select all, or you could just, if you had the banner here, you could do select all from there. And then we're gonna choose copy by right clicking and choosing copy. And now going back to the C program data uh, radar folder, we'll double click the bin folder that we just created and we'll right click and choose paste. And now it's copied all the files from our extracted zip file into the bin folder here. The next step is to actually have this start up automatically. So we're gonna actually create the service for it right now. So if we scroll down here, you'll see service install. So we'll just right click service install.exe and we'll choose run as administrator. And what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna create the service for us. So it automatically runs upon PC boot up. And here we'll once again hit more info and run anyways. And there we go, you can see a DOS prompt here and it's gonna start filling up with a whole bunch of data. In the meantime, while that's going, if you ever wanna uninstall uh, Radar, you'll also have to uninstall the service. So to uninstall the service, you actually just go over here to service uninstall. Okay, so now the last part to the installation for Radar is we'll actually have to start up the service. That way, when the computer reboots, it will start up automatically. Now back at the desktop, just on your keyboard, hold down the window button that says start on it, and at the same time, press the letter R. And that will give you the run prompt here. 
And once this run prompt is available, you'll type in services.msc. And this will bring you to the service panel. So we'll just maximize it here and we'll scroll down and look for radar. And here it is. It's already running, but if it wasn't, we could actually um, hit start here. Now that our installation has completed, we're gonna get right into the radar application. Uh, just open up your web browser and make sure that you type in localhost port 7878, as you see right here. That's the default location. If you are connecting from a different computer, obviously you'd put in the IP of the server you're connecting to, as well as the port. Right off the bat, I'm gonna take you into settings. And here you're gonna see a bunch of different tabs here with different um, categories. Uh, on the media management tab, movie naming, uh, this is a good option if you like to have your movies named a particular way. So after it downloads it, it will break it down into the naming convention that you like. So you can include the quality, uh, replace spaces, um, and then here's the example of how it's gonna show up and the movie folder name. Now we'll go into the profiles tab. And this here is gonna be the different qualities that you can choose. You can make your own here. I don't see the need to alter any of these, so um, I just leave it as is. Next, we'll go into quality. And this is where you're gonna set what the minimum and maximum file size is for the particular uh, quality that you want to download is. So for example, DVD here, uh, it says the maximum for a 90 minute movie is gonna be 8.79 gigs. The maximum for a 140 minute movie is gonna be 13 gigs. And over to the left here, the minimum size would be zero. So we'll bump that up and say, hey, I want the minimum size to be two gigs. And that's essentially it for that. Indexer, uh, what you would do is you would select here, you would You'd put here whoever your indexer is, as well as if you are using torrents, you could put over here who your um, torrent provider is. If you are using indexers, just be sure you may want to throw in the minimum age here and the minimum retention. Uh, that's up to you. Next, we'll click on download client. Here, if you're using, for example, um, news groups, you would choose NZB get. That's, um, I have a video on that. So if you go through my videos, you can see I have a video of how to set up and configure it. Uh, here, you'll have the torrent options. Hit close. Now we'll go into lists. And here, what lists are gonna be is you can have your uh, radar hooked up to, let's say, Tracked. So if you input a movie uh, that you wanna see on Tracked, it will automatically sync up and throw it into your wanted list. So here, if we just go here, you'll see there's tracked, TMDB list, couch potato. So I guess this integrates. I've never tried this. Uh, let's click close, connect. If you do this, you could tell it what system you wanna connect to. So if you have a Plex server or if you have a Kodi server, um, it will send a notification to those devices. We'll hit close here. Next, the metadata tab, exactly how it is. If you wanted to download the metadata for you, you would just enable it over here. General, uh, here's the port number. You can have a, a URL over here. Uh, here's the API key, which you'll probably need if you want to hook it up into a third-party app, something like NZB360. And next, we'll just go into the UI here. And here will be how you want to set up the calendar, uh, the date formatting, and the styling here. And just make sure after you go through every tab, and if you're actually making any changes, make sure you hit save. And you'll see here that it's going through and telling you it's been saved. So now I'll go back here to the movie tab and I'll show you how to add a movie. To add a movie, just hit the green button here saying add a movie, pretty self-explanatory. We type in the movie that we want. I'll type in Eurotrip. And here it shows that it has been released and here's a brief description. So for the path, this is gonna be the location where you want the movie to go. So in my example, I'm gonna put C movies. So I'll put add a different path. So here I'll select my C drive and I've selected C movies. It's just a blank folder I have on my computer here. Just hit okay. And then we'll just hit the check mark over here to make sure we save it. And we'll hit close. And now you'll see that the option here for the path is C movies. 
having this monitoring set to yes, what that does is, let's say this movie was going to be released in, let's say, 2018. It would just keep looking through the feeds to make sure that, hey, if I see this movie, it will download automatically. And obviously, here is the profile setting that we would want to use. So you can set this to whatever you consider your your base or whatever you're, you, you're willing to watch. So you could say any, um, let's say you want to watch a cam or something. And then you just hit the plus sign here. And over here, we have calendar. Here, you'd if you had a bunch of movies coming in, it would show uh, what's in the cinemas, what's being announced, downloading, etc. Um, I have a blank system here, so I'm not going to be able to show you that detail. Activity will show you if there's a movie being downloaded and if it's in queue. Um, obviously, there's blacklist here, so what it considers a blacklist, it will not download. Wanted, so this is whatever I want wanted. So you'll see that Eurotrip is here. It hasn't picked it up yet, so it will just show here as um, being wanted. Lastly, if you are using a system to um, download something like NCB Get, you'll just want to make sure that you set the category in NCB Get to match whatever it is in here. So I'll just flip back in here because I, f I believe I forgot to mention what it was. So I'll just go back here into settings, download client, and then we'll click the plus sign here and we'll choose NCB get. And here you'll see that it does show the category as movies. So you just need to make sure that exists over in NCB get. So that concludes the video for Radar. It's a good alternative to Couch Potato if you just want to try something out new. Just remember this is in the pre-release phase so there may be things that sometimes don't work properly like you're used to. So hopefully this um, video was informative for you. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.